Hey everybody, welcome back to Half Ass. As always, I'm joined by Andrew, and today we're talking about another Mac. Another Mac. They are very, very requested of late. The, the return of the Mac. Yeah, I'm not going to go any further with that. So, today we've got the Mac 5. It is the Military Arm Corporation's knockoff MP5. Uh, before we get there, we have a giveaway going on. So, like, follow, comment, subscribe. Subscribe is the most important. For a chance to win an M17 surplus, super rare gun, super expensive gun, and when we hit 10,000 subs, we're sending it to somebody, as long as you're of legal age and can own it in your state. But, let's go ahead and dive straight into the Mac. What are your thoughts? So, we, unlike most guns, because a cloned MP5 has been done before... A few times. A few times. We decided this time we were going to take the gun apart. We were going to go through it piece by piece alongside of a real MP5. And we were going to see what is actually different. And the big reason was that when I spoke to the guys at Mac about this gun, they told me that it was a part-for-part part exact copy. They even said that they got their hands on some old HK machinery that they were making these guns on. So they said that it's as close to a real MP5 as you can possibly get. So we wanted to actually test that and see how true it was. And they ain't lying. It's, it is... I mean, we have a 1977 real HK MP5 that has been in service for many, many, many years. With a giggle switch. Yeah, and it's a real one. And it is almost identical in every way to that gun. So, before putting hands on and actually getting down range with it, manual of arms on this thing is identical. Identical. The grip feels identical. The switches feel identical. The trigger feels completely identical. Which, they suck, but yeah. it's... Because they're designed to be pulled one time. The only real difference, um, to be fair, for the shooting test, we did add a buttstock to our Mac 5 just because we wanted to be able to truly feel it as we would an MP5. But the only real difference is it comes with kind of a textured skinny handguard out of the box, and it does have a threaded tri-lug barrel, mm -hmm. which if you do go buy one of the new SP5s, yeah. those do come with threaded tri-lug bar barrels. But those guns are like $3,000. It's ridiculous. We'll get there. Oh, yeah. We'll get there. We do enough dumping on some of the other brands that are out there, but we'll get there in a minute. So, it's identical. I mean, the stock that is on that gun, again, and we'll see in the video, we are an SOT. We can manufacture. We can make short barrel stuff. So, we are within our legal right to do what we're doing. So, get that carte blanche statement out of the way. But... We took we have multiple real MP5s and we took the stock off of one of them to give this a thing a fair screw for screw test, and it mounts straight up. Everything about this gun, if you closed your eyes, you could not tell a difference, with the exception of the triangular handguard on the real one versus the diamond plate truck bed lined handguard on the new one, which is more modern. I mean, even I think even the SP5s are a couple of yeah. Similar. And you see a lot of the AP5s and the the. Zeniths and all they all come with some sort of unique handguard. Yeah. But we're gonna take you guys to the range where the real fun happens, where we put these things side by side, and then we'll come back, we'll talk a little bit about the case candy, some of the stuff that's there and price points on it too, and uh what our true thoughts on the guns are. So stay tuned and we'll catch you after the range. Hey guys, welcome out to the range. While we're gonna do our first shots analysis of the Mac five. This is, ladies and gentlemen, the MP5 we have at home. Okay, we went through this with a fine tooth comb. We looked at it and we tried very difficultly to find anything different than an actual MP5, which we do have right here. And with the exception of a couple of welds to prevent you from being able to make this thing full auto, it's pretty much a part for part exact copy. But how does it shoot? That's the question we're out here to figure out. So we're gonna compare it in the only true fair way with a real true HK MP5. Uh, let's get the first rounds down range. We're going to be using Mac magazines in both guns just to give the magazines as fair of a test as possible to see if they're truly reliable. We're going to start out with a couple hammer pairs. We got a target down range at about seven yards, and we're going to give it a little bit of a shot. No, about 10 yards. A little, a little further. First of all, does it slap? I sa I'd say that worked. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's get a zag on the shot timer. See 
Is the trigger nice? Does the safety work? Everything seems to be in order. And let's see if we can get a nice clean double tap. Shooter eight. All right. Step on. 181. 181. I'm not used to the MP5 safety. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little stiff. All right, let's try it again. 164. Better. Try again. 160. Again. 133. If you could get your second shot on the alpha, that'd be great. All right, let's go. 25. Bag ran great. There's virtually no recoil, but no MP5s have recoil. Oh, uh, man. The trigger still is that that stereotypical spongy MP5 trigger, but it does feel good. It does feel good. It's got you to the wall pretty quick. And then it's got like that spongy break, but it works. Let's try the exact same drill with the real MP5, see if it feels any different at all. Does a real MP5 slap? Of course it does. All right, let's get me on the clock. Shooter ready. Stay by. That was a little quicker. One, three, seven. Okay, okay. The trigger is a little little different in this gun. I was, I was able to get faster split times. Yeah, that wasn't the intent, but we're just gonna, you're just a really fast shooter. Really fast. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's uh, let's slow that down. A little let's bit. try to get more of a fair compare for the YouTube gods, especially. Okay. Shooter ready. Stand by. One five seven. One five seven. One more time. One seventy. That safety it uh, it throws. I'll tell you. It, it your throws. splits are phenomenal on that. Phenomenal. Okay. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. That is also, again, not the intent. I got another one. I got another one in me. Oh, yeah. Don't do that to an MP5. I got another one. One more. Stay away. 145. 145. Do it. Does it seem like I am a little faster with the real MP5? No, your splits are around the same. I wonder if it might have anything to do with the fact that this gun's been getting broken since the 80s. I, well, I think that, well, that's, that one was manufactured in 1977. Uh, I think that one, just the fire selector on it, is just well broken. It's well broken. Let's go for a, a clean headshot. Let me adjust my diopter here and go for a nice, clean headshot. All right. How fast for a headshot? Shooter ready. 140. I think I shot him in the ear. No, so shot him in the chin. All right. Let's see what you did there, though. All right. <sighs> they feel exactly the same. Tell that to the camera. The safeties feel almost identical. The trigger feels almost identical. Maybe, maybe. The real MP5 has a slightly better trigger, but a lot of that could be explained simply by just saying that this gun is from the 70s and it has been shot tens of thousands of times. I think we need a little bit more rounds. I think we're going to do a couple uh, build drills, a couple failure to stops, and see what we can make out of it. All right, we got a couple more mags loaded up. We're going to do a few build drills. We're going to do a few failure to stops. Now, just so everyone does understand, we are an SOT, and we went ahead for a true fair comparison. We threw a real HK buttstock on here, just so it would feel identical shooting both these guns. When you do pick one of these up, it does not come with a stock, but it's compatible with all HK parts. We have literally taken this thing apart piece by piece. It is almost identical in every single way to a real MP5. So any braces, any upgrades, any hand guards, anything like that you have will we'll go right onto this gun, plug and play. Let's get a few more rounds out range and let's give it an honest assessment back at the table. All right, we're gonna try failure to stop. Forgot the tie. 
Okay. From the highway. Old school, like the eight. So you're right. Stay by. I think you hit him in the ear. All right, one more time. Stand by. Those were good hits. Do that. We got six. I have two more. Just gonna go for that double tap in the chest. Shooter ready. Stand by. What was my time on just a hammer bear? 147. Get a little faster. No, you're not. No, you're still over another other. Completely consistent yep. and identical as if these guns are exactly the same? Yes. All right. Let's see if I can shoot it fast with this trigger that craves to be a machine gun trigger. But it's not. But it's not. It is definitely not. You cannot go to the giggle switch on this gun. No, it says F, but F just means... Foobar. Sure. I was trying Shooter to... Shoot it. Shoot it. Am I? I'm not used to the travel on an MP5 trigger. Holy crap. 206. One more time. Let's see if we can get under two seconds. Stand by. Morning, John. I'm in two gun mode already. 238. 238. Oh. Redemption. So those are real HK mags. These are the real HK mags. Yeah. Which they feel I don't. All right. Shooter eight. Stand by. 186. 186. I got four more. The dick and drill. I'll just hit it. You have to do it from the, you have to do it all in the head. Four slow controlled headshots? No, four as fast as you can go, but still hitting all heads. Four headshots. All right. Let's try it out. Stand by. Shooter eight. Wow, you really like that right ear. 361. Oh, man. Man, what can I say? It is an MP5. I mean, it really is an MP5. And, I mean, not everybody has $40,000 to go out and buy one of these. But even if you want to buy a regular SP5 that HK makes nowadays and then SBR it, you're still looking at three or four times the amount of money of this gun. And I mean, honestly, I've seen SP5s pretty low quality with bad welds and issues with paint. This looks good. It feels good. It shoots exactly the same. Other than the diamond plate grippy handguard, I really can't tell a difference. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest. I actually do like that the newer gun does have the threaded and trilog barrel as opposed to just a trilog barrel. But, I mean, I think that's just splitting hairs. Most people are going to use trilog anyway. So, whew. All right. So, as you saw, man, that gun is sweet. It is, again, you close your eyes and you won't be able to tell the difference. It is an MP5, so it's antiquated old technology. So, the the operations of the gun are a little unique. I mean, one of the f most fun things you can do and pop in your chair in the industry is the HK slap. Oh, yeah. Which you can definitely do with both of these. They are phenomenal guns. Uh, Andrew had a couple of slips there when he went uh, super semi-auto because the control packs in these things, they suck. The gun <laughs> is from the 70s, okay? The safety is a little free-moving. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you think you're going to fire. You ran the fastest hammered pair I've ever seen with be fire. Go to really fire. Yeah, you know what I mean. Nah, dude, these things are sweet. Uh, I I am thoroughly impressed. And you would think that we're sponsored by Mac. We're not, unless they want to start sending us some stuff through reviews on. I can stop buying it. That'd be great. But their 1014 was a, a hit. Their DS9 is a hit. I think this is going to follow right in line with that. Everything about this gun is amazing for what it is. If you like the MP5 and you like the classic style, and to be fair, they do make two different sizes. This is the traditional MP5. They also make a K, which is, I think is a four and a half inch barrel model. 
Um, nobody buys those. So, <laughs> couple big things for me, especially in a first shots, was the magazines function really well, and there's a lot of bad MP5 mags on the market. So these function really well. They feel like real HK mags. They look really good. They're nice and hefty. It does have a real rear diopter that is steel. A lot of the knockoff HK MP5s, they, they're they too cheap to do a diopter sight, which is one of the things that people love about MP5s is that rear diopter. And a lot of people, they cheap out and they go for the rotating rear notch sight, which everybody hates. And getting a steel diopter is an expensive swap. So you do get the true MP5 sights right out of the box. It has the bump outs on the receiver for all the optics mounting capability if you want to rock like an old school like aim point or trigicon setup. And as far as the trigger pack goes, it feels identical. I, I think it's the exact same mold. If it's a different mold, then it's made off of a real MP5. But other than that, I mean, fit and function, if it had the same thick classic MP5 handguard on it, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Yeah, I honestly wouldn't. I'm, and it's, it feels really good. It shoots really good. I love that you get a couple mags because I don't know if you recall the cheaper Century Arms AKA. You only get one mag. Yeah, and they the mags are not great, and they're not as good. It does come with a tri uh flash hider, which I do like. That's pretty nice, and it comes with a sling and a nice hard case and a cleaning kit and a cleaning kit. Yeah, yeah. The, they do not make these with a brace on them. Uh, I don't suspect that they will. They're pr- trying to keep the costs down, and that brings us to what these things retail at. Full blown, MSRP on this gun is ten ninety nine. Yeah, where MSRP on the SP five is north of three thousand dollars. And I would expect to once the popularity of these dies down a little bit, I, you're probably gonna start seeing them in the wild for around a thousand dollars. Yeah, oh for sure. And uh, it, even all, used too. All this for a grand, and then you talk about it. Well. So with the brace thing being back on the market and everything else now, there's tons, tons of MP5 brace options out there if you want to run that way. If you want an SBR, you can get MP5 stocks for dirt cheap to SBR yourself. So the way this is going to come out of the box is in this true pistol configuration. It has to fit in the plastic box, but there's tons of options. The gun's been out there for 50-plus years. I mean, it's awesome. I really liked it. I really did. I know that the MP5 is kind of like a like a dream gun. For a lot of people, if you are any, if you're an '80s kid and watched any Chuck Norris, Sylvester Stallone, Bruce Willis action movie, MP5 has got to be in there, man. The the MP5 is hyper reliable. Yeah, it has virtually no recoil. It shoots the ever popular and affordable and available nine millimeter. Mm-hmm. The only thing, the only negative thing you could ever say about an MP5 is that reloaders hate it because it bends the brass. But other than that, well, it's great. And then, may, like, the operations of the gun are a little clunky. Sure, but that's just to get used to the manual yes, arms. Yes, 100%. And then you're fine. The guys it's, no, been, it's no clunkier than an AK, so. Exactly. And guys have been using these in combat for years and years and years and years with no Hell, problem. Our local SWAT team, I think, still uses MP5 SDs. Yeah. The one thing I love about this gun is we had our gunsmith pull it apart and actually look at it, get out the tools and measure everything out to make sure it is truly a screw-for-screw screw copy. At which a lot of manufacturers tout, but the only one that truly is is the HK SP5 because it's just as a commercial model. Well, no, the SP5 is not a copy. It is specifically oh, designed yeah. as a new gun that can never be full auto. But uses the same bolt, uses a lot of yeah. the same internal pieces and parts. This thing, you can go swap just like you can with the Mac 1014s and the Mac DS9. It will accept all OEM parts yeah. from HK. So, And I point that out for a reason. One of the biggest draws for a, a shooting range is having a legit MP5. There's parts galore. Oh, and, yeah. And, and cheap, even brand new stock. So you can run, if anything breaks on this gun, there is an overabundance amount of parts and replacement pieces that are out there that exist for the gun. To the best of our knowledge, it looks like there every piece of a real MP5 is in this gun. And it looks like what they did is they may have welded one or two extra little bits of metal in a couple places that would technically interfere with full auto trigger packs if you tried to install one. But we're not going to go any farther down that hole. But they're pretty easily identifiable. And, you know, 
files are cheap at Home Depot. So. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to bleep all that out. <laughs> Well, we're done rambling. We'll catch you guys next week for uh, our half-ass professionals. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know how to end this. Hey, if you guys haven't checked out our new series, Budget Gun Breakdown, oh, yeah. That's we're good. putting new videos on there every week. Make sure you check that out. It's not, you know, the cool new releases, all that fancy, flashy stuff like we talk about here. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of fun to talk about some old guns, maybe some ones that we find kicked around or maybe beat up old used stuff. Things you could be on the lookout for next time you're traveling around the country, maybe pop it into random gun shops. We talk about a lot of the secondary market stuff, too, and the yeah. fact that they're taking advantage of used guns, deals, things like that that exist. So there's tons of affordable options out there. And we, we also play around with guns that are affordable slash may not have heard of before. Yeah. And we're running through their paces, see how they do. So if you guys have any more suggestions for any half ass videos or if you check out Budget Gun Breakdown and you have any suggestions for us there, please leave a comment down below. We do listen to your comments. You'll see in most of our upcoming Budget Gun Breakdowns, a lot of them are actually viewer requested guns. So Absolutely. Check out our videos, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. We appreciate the support, guys. See you next week.